All right, guys, we're doing another car video. Today, what we're gonna test is this, like a, I was gonna say all-in-one. It's like a, a complete tire changing kit from Amazon. I paid for this kit $155, and we're gonna test all these things out and see if they work. So let's first open it up, see what's inside. So, this is all made to run off of 12 volts, so you can plug this in or uh, hook this up directly to your battery and you have a 12 volt outlet here. You can do it that way or you can use the power cord that comes with it and plug it into like a cigarette outlet. But it's all made to run off of this one cord. Our two power options, <laughs> a pair of gloves that look like they would be pretty much useless, but nonetheless, I guess good to have. We have two sockets that appear to be reversible. So you have a 21 millimeter and a 23 millimeter and a 17 and a 19. I guess these must be the four most common lug nut sizes. We have a glass breaker, a hammer, and a seatbelt cutter, which <laughs> doesn't really make sense because this is all Theoretically, you would have all of this in this case and you'd have it like in your trunk or your back seat. So this isn't really gonna do any good if it's in the case. If you drive off into a river, are you gonna swim into your trunk and get the glass breaker to get out? I don't think so. Anyway, I guess it's not too bad to have. And then we have instructions, which we won't need. <laughs> we have an impact gun that literally looks like something out of like a space movie, like some type of futuristic like laser zapper or something. I'm really, really, really curious to see if this thing even works. I just, for $155 for something that's electric, I just don't, I just don't really see it working that well. But, and then probably the most useful part, we have this thing, which is a electric hydraulic jack. So you can jack your car up. And then it also is a tire inflator so you can pump up a spare tire that's flat or just pull this out and give some tire give a tire some air and then I don't know if there's anything even on this side okay so then on this side you have some fuses an allen wrench and some oh like a uh, these little pieces like this is to inflate like basketballs and footballs and that type of thing. Or beach balls maybe. That would have been nice to have whenever I was a kid. You got some other like little nozzles for maybe, I don't know, inner tubes or something. All right, so let's get the car in here and let's see if we can change a tire. All right guys, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped has sent me their performance package 4.0. So let's see what's inside. So first and foremost, you get the lawnmower 4.0. This is a completely wireless trimmer. It's waterproof. It has skin safe technology. It also has a little light. So it has that skin safe technology where you're not gonna cut and nick yourself. That's very nice. It comes with a wireless charger that is also a stand. So you can just put it on your sink. It comes with two different guards so that you can trim at two different lengths. It also comes with a bottle of ball deodorant and a bottle of ball toner. Two things that are very nice. And if we just look under here, you get a Oh, you get a free toiletry bag and then now the focus of this so now the star of the show you get a pair of these anti-chafing boxer briefs which they just released uh new designs of these and now instead of just the black you can get up to six different pairs and you can if you just want these by themselves you can buy just one pair or you can go all the way up to a three pack so you can just pick three you like get them all at once so that's very nice. So if you are interested in any of this stuff or some of the other things that I think are essential, they also have a cologne that smells amazing. And they also have a uh, nose and ear hair trimmer. So if you're interested in any of this stuff, you can click the link in the top of the description and you can use code TUBE and you will get 20% off plus free shipping. All right, so we got the car in here. Uh, since this thing is powered from a 12 volt outlet, uh, the, <laughs> the battery in this car is very old and very weak. So if this thing 
is a piece of junk and it doesn't work, I don't want it to be because the battery is bad. So we're going to use the EcoFlow, since it has the 12 volt port, we're going to use that for our power source, so that way we know we're getting good power. Now let's hook some of this stuff up and just make sure, just kind of look at it, make sure, make sure everything's working. Plug that in there. First, let's let's check out the space gun. I do not like this connection. I feel like this, I feel like this right here is a very, very weak point. But I mean, then again, how often are you going to be pulling this thing out? Hopefully, only whenever you have a flat tire. This thing doesn't even spin. Look. Oh, wait a minute. How come... How's it gonna take the tire off if it doesn't... Sp if I can just hold it with my fingers? Are you kidding me? Does this work the way I think this thing works? Okay. I thought this was gonna be like a regular impact, like a, it would work the, like a regular air impact, but electric. So this thing has to like, this thing has to like charge up and get speed and then like hit so it can like break the nut loose. There's no way this thing is gonna work very good. All right, well, <laughs> that'll be fun. Now let's look at this thing. Looks like it's got some red and blue lights that just, I guess they're on all the time. Isn't that like illegal? Like, isn't that, doesn't that look like you're impersonating the police? I thought you weren't allowed to have that color scheme. Yeah, I guess there's no way to turn that on or off. Oh, there's the flashlight. That looks like it does almost nothing. Let's turn all the lights off and see. Oh, I can't even hardly see anything anymore. <laughs> you can see our red and blue lights. I guess that would get your attention. Okay. I mean, that's not... That's not horrible, I guess. Jeez. That, <laughs> you can't even see my face. Yeah, that's not terrible. I guess it's better than nothing. The only problem I see with this, with this light is that it's at the front. It's at the front of this thing where the jack is. So if you were... You know, on the side of, if you were in the middle of the night changing a tire, this is going to go under your car, so the light is just going to be shining under the car where you can't, where it's not useful. So you're not going to be able to use it to see what you're doing. It would only be useful, I guess, like if you needed it for something else to look at or whatever. So that's kind of, that's kind of sucks. <laughs> you can't really, you can't really do anything. This is the, okay, so that's the air compressor. This is the jack. Let's see. I want to see how far this thing goes up. Okay, so, so this thing goes up really far. Then on top of this, you can unscrew this. I forget how far this thing unscrews. So about like there. That, that's a, that's a, a lot. That is that's 13 inches. So that is more than enough to jack up pretty much anything I would imagine. All right. So the first thing that we're gonna test this tire is I don't know exactly how low it is, but it's very low on air. So with the full weight of the car on it, we're gonna see if we can inflate it. Well, we got some air in there. All right, so we are, <laughs> according to this gauge, we are down to about 12 PSI of air. So, let's see if we can get it up to like at least 30. And 
that's 30. That's actually, that was very <laughs> impressive. I mean, I know this is a, a very small tire, so it doesn't take a whole lot, but that's, uh, that's very impressive. We'll put this little cat back on, even though it really doesn't matter. All right, now let's pull this thing over here, put it under here and jack up the front of the car, see if it'll do it. All right. Another thing that I'm curious of is I want to see how many watts of power this thing pulls, which I can see that on the EcoFlow. It's lifting up no problem. And it's also only pulling 60 watts. Okay. So that's high enough to change a tire. Reasonably secure. I wouldn't, uh, you should, probably should be using a jack stand, but I mean, if you're, if you're on the side of the road, you're not gonna have a jack stand unless you come like r really, really prepared. So I definitely wouldn't get under this thing. I think these lug nuts are a 21. Yep, 21. Get our <laughs> our space gun. I'm, I'm legitimately gonna be very, very impressed. This thing does not have like a notch. Very, very loose fit. But I'm gonna be very, very impressed if it takes these lug nuts off because I have not had these lug nuts off for probably seven or eight years. And I believe when I put them on, I just used an impact and just <laughs> sent them. Okay, let's tighten. Loosen that. Really? Took that right off of there. No problem. Are these just not that tight? Or what's going on here? What? I I am very impressed. Pull the tire off. That is incredible. <laughs> that blows my mind. I'm going to I'm going to put these lug nuts back on, and we're going to torque them down, and then try again. I mean, I'm pretty sure they were on there tight, but let's do it again because I want to make I want to make sure that they weren't just like maybe they loosened up over the years, or maybe I didn't put them on as tight as I thought, or something. Let's just double check. So let's torque these down. I'm thinking we're going to go. My torque wrench goes to 150. I think we'll go, I don't remember what the torque spec is on these lug nuts, but uh, I think it's maybe somewhere around 75 or 80, something like that, because they're pretty small. So we'll start off at 90, we'll go 90, 100, uh, we'll go 125, and then we'll go, <laughs> we'll try to go 150, I guess, see, hopefully it doesn't break. And also, I also realized that I forgot the most important part, which is the gloves. So I'm gonna put these on, that way my hands don't get dirty. I don't know why they would give you, like, pearly white gloves to change tires in. Because it's literally gonna be like, two seconds, they're gonna be not white. And they're gonna look like garbage. 90 pounds. All right, easy. 100 pounds. One twenty-five. I'm really nervous that either the one twenty-five or I guess one fifty is gonna snap the lug nut or snap the stud. Okay. All right, one fifty. Please don't snap. Oh. <laughs> Please don't snap. Please don't snap. Please don't snap. Come on. 
I don't know why it's not clicking. Uh, I wonder if my torque wrench is kind of messed up. Maybe it doesn't click at 150. 145. All right, click. Okay, well, <laughs> it's definitely not, it's not clicking for some reason. But we can... Come on. We can definitely assume that it is at least 150 or more. Now, let's jack this thing back up. All right, start off with 90. Will it break that loose? No problem, 100. Okay. It like wasn't working for a second. All right, and 125. This thing is impressive. I feel like uh, I feel like it struggled just a tiny bit with that. Now our mystery one, which is somewhere around 150. I really, I really wanted, in this video, I really wanted to tear this thing to shreds and I wanted this thing to just be junk and make fun of it because it looks like some space gun and whatever. This thing actually, it works. I mean, it does what it says it's supposed to do. You can, you could easily change a tire with this. It'll take off something that's torqued up to at least 150-ish. So far, I'm impressed. I am really impressed. All right, so, like I said, I don't remember if I showed this or not. There's also a triangle on the case and like Velcro for some reason. I don't know what, I don't know what the Velcro is for. So you can like, I guess set this beside, like behind your vehicle in the night so people can see that you're broke down or whatever. I wanted to just tear this thing apart so bad because the gun looks like a, like a, like an alien gun. And it's just, it looks like it's going to be so bad, but it serves its purpose and it actually works. So. I can't really say too much bad about it. Uh, if you're in the market for one of these, I will have a link, uh, pin a comment. I have the uh, Amazon link for it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.